the old maternity block at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. It holds fond memories for many. On December 13, 2018, when President Akufuado inaugurated the hospital's intensive care unit of the National Reconstructive Plastic Surgery and Burn Center, he commented about the poor state of the maternity block and promised to do something. And so, the sod cutting to construct a new maternity and gynecology center. Hedebi JV from Italy is the contractor for the project. On completion, the facility will have 400 beds, 20 labor and delivery rooms, 100 seating waiting area, 26 recovery wards, 24 consulting rooms, IVF services, 32 seating restaurant with preparation area and emergency units. This will be the first public facility to deliver IVF services. Work on the Nephrology and Kidney Transplant Center of Excellence will be carried out by VAMED Engineering of Australia. The center will provide services such as kidney transplantation and is expected to have a 40-suite dialysis station. It will have three-suite operation theaters, a six-bed recovery room, and an intensive care unit. There will also be a central sterilization and stores department, a pharmacy unit, a CT dynamic lab, microbiology unit, a hematology chemistry unit, and a blood bank. The nation is losing over 1,200 people to kidney and urogenital diseases every year. Again, a lot of resources are sunk into flying people outside the shores of Ghana for treatment of acute nephrology cases. And it is only fair that this project is done and done very well to save lives and save resources of our country. President Akufuado said his government will deliver universal health care in the country. Kalibu Teaching Hospital through the construction of these facilities, will be in a strong position to give meaning to medical tourism, services to neighboring countries, and increase its re revenue base to expand services. I look forward to seeing these two important projects completed on schedule and on budget. And I ask the contractors and management of the hospital to collaborate effectively in delivering quality projects to the benefit of all Ghanaians. The government of Italy and Australia are supporting the government's effort to fully construct the two projects in less than three years.